Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to write cold emails that prints meetings. And this is a rewrite video. So what I'm doing in these videos is essentially taking the copies that you've submitted to me and I'm going to rewrite them. So uh, if you want me to rewrite your copy, simply leave a comment under this video and I will hopefully be able to feature you in the next video, all right? So yeah, Jenja, I've gotten two emails um, submitted um, or that I selected that I'm going to rewrite in this video. By looking at this, you will learn different like copywriting techniques, how I word things, how I phrase things, and just in general, what my cold emails look like. Now, this is coming from someone who has booked thousands of thousands of meetings through cold email and generated probably over 1, 1.5 million in revenue through cold email for my clients and myself. So let's get into it. The first copy I got is from someone who is selling website redesigns for restaurants. This is what his copy looked like uh, and you can just pause the video here if you want to read it. Now essentially what's wrong with this cold email and what I don't like really, it starts with I was browsing through your website and saw that you and then it gets to the sort of personalized line, the unique personalization where you actually mention a dish that they are selling. The problem with this is that this is is the only part that will be displayed in the preview texts, which sort of the goal with this personalization here is that they should see it in the preview text of your email and incentivize them to open it. They should get curious. But this word, this sentence here, the prefix of this sentence, it sort of just eliminates that benefit. And then it goes into, at the same time, I noticed that your site might benefit from a few improvements, especially since it had only 39 visitors last month. Now, what you're doing here is you're using an argument against your service. They only have 39 visitors. Why should they prioritize building a new website? A new website and a new look and feel to a website isn't going to increase the number of the, or the traffic to the site is going to increase the conversion of the site. So you're actually using an argument here against your solution. And the other thing is that you're directly talking about like websites, visitors, typically restaurant owners don't really care about websites and SEO and you know visitors and traffic and those sort of terms. To help you attract more attention and boost sales, I went ahead and created a quick website draft for you. This is great. Uh, I like this sentence. Uh, let me know if you're interested and I'll send it over right away. We can also have a quick chat if that works for you. I would remove this last thing here. But now let's get to my rewrite here. And by the way, in these videos, I'm not allowed to add any like personalization or add anything. I'm only allowed to sort of change up the wording, the structure, basically work with what I have. Now, this is my variant of it. Here's what I did. So I just wrote name. Your menu doesn't ju do justice to dishes like unique offer pizza. If your menu showcased your dishes in a more appealing way, it could encourage more people to order from or visit your restaurant. I create an example of what your menu could look like. Let me know what you think. And then you just leave it blank here. And the goal here is, um, and you do this consciously, right? So you leave this blank here. You don't attach anything or embed anything. And what this will do is people will reply to you saying, I can't see it, or you didn't attach to anything. And then you say, oh, sorry, here you go. And then you have sort of the image or the loom video or whatever you have there. And in the second follow-up, say they don't reply to this. Well, then you just start your next email with, oh, shoot, I forgot to actually add the uh, menu I created or the example I created. That's what I did. And this first uh, sentence here, is just um, building curiosity here. And you can change the wording here to say like, um, this pizza right here is not done justice in your menu. If your menu showcased your dishes, and I also swapped out completely, like you talk, uh, talk a lot about the website here, I completely changed that because what's really interesting about the website, at least for a restaurant, is the menu, right? How you present the dishes, the food, the meal, right? Uh, so I made it about the menu instead, which is way more valuable to a restaurant. Because if you can print that menu for them as well and give them a new design for the menu, then boom, they can use that in the restaurant as well. They can hang that up in the restaurant as well. Then it's not just website. You 3x or 4x the value you provide. And then of course, included in that could be the website redesign. So that's uh, how I did it here. Way simpler. 
uh, focuses or changed slightly like the value proposition and that's it then now here is the second email and this one is way longer but essentially what this guy is selling is content writing to um, coaches consultants slash course creators um, that post content or that are running ads essentially and uh, here is the copy that they wrote you can pause and read if you want to same thing applies here again I came across your account after seeing your reel on and already there this is the preview text this is the preview text that they will see when they open email you want this and this to be the first thing they see because that's the personalized part that builds curiosity other than that it's way too long here and you actually said here that got me diving into more of your content which led to a question you follow that up by not asking a single question in the entire email you say you have a question but you never ask any question in this email and that's also one thing it's not a clear call to action here and here's me so you know i'm real photo of me um well a photo of someone uh, doesn't really indicate that it's a real person so i would completely remove this uh, and it's way too wordy if we talk grammatically like there's too much like new rows in here since you're constantly running ads it shouldn't be a new row here right it's just a comma same thing here shouldn't be a new row but overall i like the idea that you're sharing a google document in the first email with a link where they can get feedback but overall this email is way too long way too wordy and um, way too cliche and it doesn't have a clear call to action. So here's my version of it. Name, your reel about topic just popped up. Custom compliment about the reel. I only found three improvements you can make. Here's a doc where I highlight them and they link to the Google document. Then would you be open to the idea of outsourcing your content writing? If so, I can send over my value proposition and pricing so you can decide if it's worth exploring. Let me know. Super simple. It starts off like they will be able to see sort of the personalization here in the preview text, followed by a custom compliment. I love your system for writing cold emails that boosts replies whatever and then i only found three improvements you can make here's a doc where i highlight them and then it has a more like clear value proposition here and it's way less wordy and that's it these are the two copies i got these are my versions of them if you want to be featured in the next video simply comment your email in the comment section and i'm really looking forward to or i hope i get some emails from smma or digital marketing agencies because it's high demand for those sort of copies feel free to leave them down below uh, but anyways that's it for me like subscribe cheers